him a Chinese American woman. I had never felt endangered by that. However, my face will always say something else. Running the last 15 years has been like breathing to me. It's an integral part of my identity, my lifestyle, and really my world. Watching COVID unfold on the world affected all of us in so many different ways. But for me in particular, I really started to become hyper aware of my Chinese American identity. I started to feel like the socio-political climate was painting a target on the backs of Asian Americans. In the wake of the coronavirus pandemic, racism and harassment towards Asian Americans has spiked. Why do you it's keep calling this the Chinese violence. virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of violence against Chinese Americans in this country. Advocates are attributing the spate of violence in part to xenophobic rhetoric that connects the pandemic to Asian Americans. That includes former President Trump and Asian Americans. But it's for the first time ever, even though I know I've always been seen as an other because of my face, despite being born and raised in America, I actually began to question my safety when I went out on a run. had to sit with it and think about, you know, what can I do as an individual? Maybe a way to give back to the Asian communities would be to start something to highlight these neighborhoods and these communities that people might not necessarily immediately care about because they're not within their typical wheelhouse or their social bubble. Chinatown Runners was sort of born out of the idea that in order to create a sense of empathy, you need to build a connection. And by building a connection through experiencing a neighborhood by running through it, I thought that we could kind of highlight not just the differences in communities, but also how similar we all are as humans. If you can take a beat on your daily run and take a left turn to that one street with a lot of Asian businesses, maybe you could discover a hidden gem that would surprise you. Tomorrow's monthly run celebrates the Mid-Autumn Festival. It's the second most impactful holiday in Chinese culture, and it's a time where we focus on family reunions, we share mooncakes with each other, and we light paper lanterns. I'll be taking a bunch of runners through a smaller Chinatown in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. I think the beautiful thing about what we're doing with Chinatown Runners is we're connecting people to communities that might seem foreign or different to them. But in actuality, unless you're a Native American or Indigenous individual, we all kind of came over here from somewhere. And really, I think when you run with each other, that's when you can easily break down a lot of the artificial boundaries that we create around each other. Small token of my gratitude for all of you guys sharing some smiles and smiles with me this evening. If you would like, we have mooncakes for all of you. And by taking a moment to bring people to a community and taking a pause, exploring the history and the culture of it, as well as the people that live there, is how you build threads of empathy amongst communities. So being able to celebrate those cultural differences and then recognize 
that they're an integral part of this country is really what Chinatown Runners is about. As soon as you take a moment to say hello or smile at someone, you realize that we're all really not that different.